All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to For Ghost Entertainment. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to restart a level in Unreal Engine 5. I'm going to teach you guys how to do it with a key press as well as how to do it with a button. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to be going into our third-person character. Now, inside of my third-person character, what I'm going to do over here, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to type in the tab key because I'm just going to be getting a reference to tab. And then off of tab, off of press, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag off of this. I'm going to type in open level by name. And then right here, what I'm going to do is I actually want to make sure where it says level name. I want to make sure that I'm naming this to the exact thing of what the name of convention of my current level is. So for me, it's actually going to be third person map. Now, you want to make sure that this is spelled correctly because if not, it's not going to work. So if I go ahead and I compile, I'm just going to go ahead and add a print string so you guys can see that it works. So I'm going to type in print string. And then over here, we're just going to have a uh, new level. And then right here, once I restart the game, you'll see that basically it will show the print string. So I'm going to compile. I'm going to go back to into my editor. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to play the game. And then once the game loads up and I press on the tab key, you guys will notice that it says new level on the top left-hand side of the screen. So that is how you restart a level with a key press. Now, how you restart it with a button press is pretty much similar. It's the same thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right-click. I'm going to go down to user interface. I'm just going to create a uh, creator wizard blueprint. I'm just going to name this level. And then right here, what I'm going to do is once I open this up, I'm going to open up the level widget blueprint. And then over here, I'm just going to drag this right here. I'm going to go ahead and type in canvas panel. I'm just going to drag on a canvas panel. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag in a button. And then over here for button, I'm just going to drag this in. Now, I'm just going to make this button like super big so you guys can see. So right here, I'm just going to have this button right here. I'm just going to anchor it to the center of my screen. And then once I do that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go down on the button. And then I'm going to go over here to on click. And I'm just click on this little icon for the on click event. And then what we want to do is we actually want to do the same thing. Where so we're going to drag off of this and we're going to type in open by level name. And then over here, we're just going to go ahead and type in your level name. For me, once again, it's going to be third person care, uh, third person map. For you, it's going to be whatever your level is called. So once I do that, I'm going to compile. Now I'm going to go back to my third person character and then basically on begin play over here, I'm just going to drag off of this and I'm going to type in create widget. And then I'm actually going to be getting a widget blueprint, which is going to allow us to create a widget. So I'm just going to type in um, level, we get a reference to our uh, widget. And then over here, I'm going to drag off of this and I'm typing add to viewport. And then right here, this is how you add it to viewport. I'm going to go ahead and compile. Now, once I compile the game, you guys would notice that in the game, you guys will actually see that the button is right here. So if I press the button, It'll actually restart the level. So let me actually um, go back real quick and just add a print string so you guys can see this again. So I'm just going to type in print string. And then I'm just going to type in level. Right? So if I compile this again and then I go back into the game. And then as you guys can see, if I go over here and I press the button, it says on begin play. But if I press the button, it's going to show us a level again. So that shows that our level is actually restarting. So that is basically how you restart a level inside of Unreal Engine 5. It's super simple, super easy. If you guys enjoyed the video, you guys want to see more Unreal Engine 5 tutorials on the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I upload Unreal Engine 5 tutorials as well as Apex Legends content every single day. So hit that subscribe button, turn on all your notifications so you don't miss an upload. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one.